Hey there guys, I'm Ian Rob Wright and today I'm going to talk about my wife's new favourite thing which is a song. My wife Sally's really into music, she always has been um, and once she likes a song she beats it to death um, until essentially my ears bleed. As she likes all kinds of music and, and the current one in the charts is one that she loves and you know I'm hip and with the kids I like a bit of Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and, and Boyzone and things so you know I'm hip I like the new music um, but this one that my wife's been listening to has been uh, irritating me a little bit for several reasons and it didn't really trigger me until I saw the video for it on um, YouTube so I just want to go into the reasons I hate this song. It's called Swallow, um, and it's by Jason Derulio, who's a pretty generic, I think he's British, black rapper, you know, just R&B top thing you've seen. Uh, it, there's nothing unique about him, he's just another one lost in the shuffle of, you know, uh, the, the, the urban beats type of scene, so it's not really something I'm into, but I will admit it's a pretty catchy tune, and I, I do enjoy the melody um, but the connotations of the video I find pretty cringy so we'll have a look JD so so far the, the name of the song is Swallow and we've got Lollipop so I, I think you know where this is going um, but it's the begin the beginning is the best part. What's with the human centipede shit man? Human centipede basically. I mean <laughs> Why would they didn't go to sleep like that? You know, have you ever fallen asleep in a line of your friends? Like even at college, you don't fall asleep like that. So I can only imagine that the directors purposely thought, let's do the whole human centipede vibe. But let's let's carry on. Perfectly manicured beard. Guys are pro. Sibling. Now I don't know about you, but for me that gives me total Whoopi Goldberg vibes. I don't know why, I need to find a picture on the internet. For some reason that just makes me think of Whoopi Goldberg, which I don't think is what he was going for. Uh, Jason Derulio, I think, you know, as, as great as Whoopi Goldberg is, he doesn't, he, he's got his own thing going on and, and it's not Whoopi Goldberg, but that's, that's what I think about. I don't know why, the whole... I don't know, it's almost lordly, like he's wearing some lord's coat, but... You know. Okay, there you go, so just in case you, you didn't get the subliminal messages about the, the, the song being called Swallow, these women are all sucking lollipops. So, there you go, just, just in case you didn't get the message. I don't know how many wet stages I've seen, I don't know whether Rihanna Umbrella was the first one or if it's been going on for years, you have to let me know in the comments of the videos, but the wet stage, it's like, it's a, a fire hazard, you know, there's electrics and stuff, so what are they doing? Plus, who likes being wet, man? I hate my clothes being wet, so, you know, I don't envy Jason Derulio right now. I thought being a pop star was an easy life, but he has to jump around in puddles and that goes out of style when you hit three or four. So there you go, just, just in case, you, you know, there's the message, swallow. It's about women swallowing. These women aren't human beings, they're just props. They're just, they're just here to dance around him because he's the man. Uh, he's the rich black rapper who is obviously superior to females everywhere. And these, these women, they don't, they don't have names. They're, they're, they're literally bred without names just to be in pop videos and drape themselves as black rappers. Or white rappers. White, usually white rappers trying to be black rappers, but... I thought we were past this, it's 2017, it's like, ah. Oh. 
I've, this video is literally, I've seen this video 50 times already from different artists. It's, it's so generic and bland. The song is just a, a remix of other tunes. It's not even a new song, it's just mashed together from existing stuff. I don't even think Jason Derulio is comfortable doing this stuff. It's so obviously manufactured that he just looks awkward throughout the whole video. He's dressed like Whoopi Goldberg. He's getting wet. There's going to be an, uh, an electrocution. You know, so these women's lives are endangered. Um, at least Chris Brown's not on set because then, you know, they really wouldn't make it home in one piece. But <laughs> And then you got, again, is this the, the fashion? How many... Black rappers have I seen that look exactly like this dude, Little Wayne, Little John. His name's probably Little Wiggle or something, or it says dollar sign, but oh and he's got a dollar in the name. That's that's I haven't seen that before a hundred times either. But so like, look at this dude man, it's like get your own style. It's just this whole video is the most generic thing I've ever seen. It's just it's it's like a computer looked at existing videos and, and songs and just mashed one up. Perfectly, it's like the, the monkeys on the typewriter type of thing. A uh, bit of a butt shot there, you know, again, this this isn't a woman, we don't need to know her name, her backstory. This is no story. It's just two black guys with, you know, women draped all over them. It doesn't matter that they're black, I'm just, this seems to be a trend with this type of video which features black artists. So it's, uh, you know, alluding to the fact they're black doesn't, it isn't the point, but... It's just like, it's 2017, man. It's just like, get past this. It's so crap. It's garbage and boring. Give me something experimental. It's, oh, like, he can't be proud of this. Oh, oh swallow, and they're all drinking booze. It's like, the subtext, it's so, so, oh, it's just like banging you over the head with a hammer with it. It's just like, Jason Derulio goes home and probably has a cup of tea with his mum. He's probably brought a, you know, a semi-detached in Milton Keynes or whatever. Um, so he's having some, you know, slightly stale biscuits and a cup of tea like you do um, with your old ma. What does he say that he does? Like, oh, what did you do today, Jason? You're still singing those tunes? And he's like, yeah, mum, of course. Just like you taught me. Oh, what's your latest one about? Is it about the, the suffering of the human soul? Is it about, you know, overcoming adversity? Is it about what he's been through as a, as a younger man? No, it's about women swallowing cum. It's like, whoa, you are a true artist. You should, you know, we can't forget you. You need to go down in the annals of human history as a great influencer on society. It's like, seriously, dude, it's 2017. Your day job is singing about women swallowing cum and the video is just a bunch of sluts, you know, draping themselves on you. I just, oh my God, it gives me a headache. It's just like, God, have some pride in what you're doing. And if you truly see women like that, then you're an arsehole. And I hope you don't get another record contract. But I don't, I don't think he does. He's just playing to conventions of, of you know, this type of thing that started with the early MTV days. It's like... Put your foot down and do what you want to do. Don't be manufactured. Don't let studio execs keep peddling this garbage to us. Because yeah, it's a catchy tune on the radio, but when you actually listen to the words, I don't want kids singing. I don't want my daughter to grow up singing about swallowing cum. And I'm not, you know, I don't believe in censorship at all. Maybe a song every now and then, like um, "Wiggle Wiggle Wiggle" by the Out Here Brothers, came at a point where that was quite unique. That it was dirty. Who knows? But it's just prevalent at the moment, so it just get it becomes noise and and starts influence you without you even realising it. So you don't know you're listening to this crap. Because I didn't know I beaten along and my wife's loving it, and then I listen to it. And again, I come off as really conservative, but I'm not. It's more that I just find this really cringeworthy than offensive. It, it hasn't offended me. I just roll my eyes and go, oh, seriously. Um, so yeah, you got the generic little Wayne, little John, li little diddle tiddle. Um, guy there, you know, I've never ever heard of him, Ty Dollar Sign, uh, I don't know, was Dollar Sign taken and he had to add Ty or, I don't know. And then again, this is another thing that does my head in, swipe for it, okay. Oh, I'm so rich and cool that I have to spend 120 quid, $150 on a bottle of vodka. I hope one day to be a millionaire. 
I potentially could be because I work in an industry where I could write a book that becomes a hit and I become a millionaire of night. I'm lucky enough to have that as a possibility. I'm not saying it's likely, I'm not going to say it's happy, but I could one day be a millionaire and I certainly work towards that. If I am one day a millionaire, I will not spend 120 quid on a bottle of vodka because it's no different to a 20 quid bottle of vodka. It gets you pissed and it tastes like piss. That's vodka. So it's just posing and it's bullshit and again it's just the priorities are just so skewed it's like oh yeah i've got my expensive booze and my whores who the only reason my whores are here is because they love the expensive booze and the bling it's like oh god god just oh it's just so garbage i've seen it in so many videos this product placement of expensive booze and it's just makes me cringe it's like you think that's what people respect? You think that makes people envy you? I'm, I, if I see you in a million pound mansion and driving uh, Maseratis and, and things, yeah, then I envy you. I don't envy you because you're stupid enough to spend 120 quid on a bottle of vodka. You know, there's, there's affluence in the West that makes the poverty in the East look bad. But it is what it is, that's the situation, and we, we can't be held responsible for living in that society that's been created. Um, but we can be a little bit responsible, and that's just bullshit. <laughs> So last bit of the uh, video, we get a cameo from the one and only Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj a trois, rocking the glasses, you know, would she wear this outside? She probably would, but again, music videos are so dumb, it's just like, I'm going to wear some ridiculous glasses. But what I don't get about Nicki Minaj, she's supposed to be this fierce, independent woman, yeah, great. And I quite like her music, she's alright. Um, again, she's no Britney Spears, but she's doing her thing. Um, but as this, she's got her tits out already, and it, and it gets worse, and she has to show her butt. She's, you know, how fierce and independent can you be when you're building your brand and you're having a big butt? It's like, you're being objectified, and you're, you're enabling it. It's like, you're in a video with a guy that's treating women like props in 2017. He's wearing some stupid, he's abusing animals now. He's wearing a big fur coat. This guy's just wretched. Um, but it's just like, I don't know, does he think that coat looks good on him? Seriously, he looks, yeah, he looks like a pimp, but why do people want to be pimps? Like, that's not a good profession. It's like, yeah, I want to, again, I want to abuse women and sell them into sexual slavery. That's that, I'm going to look, I'm go for that look, because that's good. But, um, to try and find the Nicki Minaj bit I'm referring to. You're a powerful, influential woman. You're being a prop in a video that brought you in, not because you're talented, but so they can stick your name in the title and make you a prop. It's like, oh, God, you should be sticking your fingers up and saying bollocks. You get naked and stick your butt out in my video, Jason Derulio. Why have I got to come in? You're wearing, you know, some weird medieval lord's cloak in the beginning of the video. And then later on you're wearing some weird pimp chinchilla coat, which you obviously think makes you look hot. But you're not getting your knob out. You're not, your dick's not waggling about everywhere for the ladies. So why has Nicki Minaj got to come into your video and get her ass out? Is that like under services you've got? ass and then you've got Nicki Minaj as one to call if you need an ass in your video so I, I don't know like Nicki Minaj obviously is fine with this but it's like with her video she's so she's being sexually exploited for someone else's video she wants to get naked in her own videos to sell records and make money then you know fine but it's like they've called her up to say can you get your ass in my video and she's going oh yeah I'd, I'd love the opportunity that it's just like, oh it's 2017 you know anyway I'm overreacting because it's funny to overreact and it, it helps me find the subtleties and the things that I don't like and if I can't quite work out why they annoy me, if I overreact to them, I find the reasons they annoy me and so it's the lyrics, Swallow. I don't want to hear songs about swallowing cum, even as a bloke that enjoys that type of thing, you know. Not that I enjoy doing it, not that that would be, is it again, I'm not going down the rabbit hole but it's just like, I don't want to hear that. That's not what I want on my mind when I'm working. Like, I'm typing away, writing a story, and then I've got bloody women swallowing cum in my head. I don't want that. 
it, if I want to actively seek that out by buying an album with that type of song on or whatever, then great. But YouTube's suggesting this to me. No, YouTube, you got it wrong. Um, but my wife loves this song, so it's obviously on all through the work day while she's at work making loads of money because she's great. Love you. Um, but it's just like, oh god, it's just, it's, and Sal doesn't know, when I'm pointing out these things to her, and Sal's very equal, right, we both are, like, we both get really angry at any perceived sexism, because it's ridiculous in this day and age, but she's a very fierce, independent woman, much more so than bloody Nicki Minaj, um, and she would never allow herself to be degraded for someone else, for any reason, you know, she's too proud, and she should be, um, she makes a lot, you know, a decent living, all off her own back, she's a businesswoman, she's happily married to a man who treats her as an equal. Um, she takes a f equal um, part of raising our children. She doesn't think that she's a baby machine. You know, she expects me to do my bit, and I do, and I'm happy to. Um, but she was listening to this shit, thinking it was absolutely brilliant. And then when I told her the, the subtleties of it, she thought, Oh, you've just ruined that song for me, thanks Ian. Do you have to do that all the time? But yeah, I do. Because my kids are going into this world of being brainwashed subliminally by all this crap, this culture shock that's, uh, culture attacks that they don't even realise they're being subjected to. But, so that I just want to rip them apart every now and then because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like at least I'm, I'm putting something into the world that's anti that, even if only a few people view this video compared to the millions that viewed that one. I feel like at least I'm putting the antithesis of what this is out into the world. And someone that might view my video might be aware of what this crap is peddling them. So that's that's my reason I do these videos and, and just because it's a bit of fun and I enjoy talking to the camera for my fans to know me a little bit better uh, than just me writing horror books. But there you go, that's my two cents, ten cents, whatever the saying is on this video. Jason Derulio, Swallow. I heavily urge you not to download it or listen to it whatsoever. To get tons of free horror novels, just go to ianrobwright.com. No strings attached.